What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is Codexual, and today we're going to be talking about what applications are using your network on Windows 10. And there's no third-party tools. Everything is here built on Windows. So Windows can show you the applications using on your network right now, how much data is being transferred. Uh, you can even see a list of apps over the past 30 days. We can also set a limit on how much usage we use on per computer so you're not going over that data cap as well so uh open up task manager by hitting alt control delete on your keyboard then it'll pop up this so you can see like the percentage uh for the network that's currently using uh which application is being pulled but that's not enough so go towards the performance bottom it will show open resource monitor you click on that then by default you're currently currently tabbed in on overview, what we want to do is click on network. So now we see Firefox, EXE, Discord, Chrome, uh, so forth. Uh, you see how much data is being sent to and from, and we can even see what IP addresses it's connecting towards to. So that's kind of awesome to have like a network analysis, uh, even TCP connections. So, um, on any listing ports. So this is something that you can keep your eye on, even though if you have like all the programs close out or which you thought you closed out, but you get, you're still buffering um, like that YouTube video and you're like, what's going on with my network? So you, this is where you can view of what's going on with your network. Then you can proceed further to go towards the, you know, Google Chrome.exe. Uh, I would go towards the details and just close out of every exe. Uh, as displayed here. So now as for seeing the applications that have been using your network for the past 30 days, um, on the bottom right on your uh, monitor, on the bottom right on your taskbar, it'll show that little internet icon. And if you right click on it, it'll say open internet and sharing uh, settings, or you can hit the windows key and type in internet and sharing settings, then you'll see data usage. So this will pull up right here. So um, I'm using Ethernet because I'm hardwired in. And as you can see, I use three terabytes of um, data. And if I go ahead and click on that, then you can see what programs I've used or the computer used in the background and how much data it's sent. Then you can like use this and be like, okay, uh, I have uh, such and such data before I hit that data cap and I should stop using OBS. So let's go ahead and just stop doing that or hit set a limit in general, which you can go back here and set yourself a limit. So it won't go over that data cap. So it could be monthly, one time, unlimited, and the monthly reset date and how much data you want to use and if it's going to be megabytes or if it's going to be gigabytes. Then you're going to go ahead and hit save. Then once you hit or hit once you hit that limit it will notify you and it will also stop your internet connectivity until you change it otherwise so uh, I just want to point out that as well. I hope this this video is informative for you I know it's short um, go ahead and give it a comment like subscribe and I do appreciate you. Uh, any technical support is supported only on the Discord. Follow my social media. I'll see you guys. Take care. Protect your privacy and identity. Unlock sensor filters if you're trying to get to a no-no site or you just want to be anonymous, whatever your reasonings are. You can connect to the VPN tunnels within seconds by using private internet access. Links are in the description. It's so low. Like the the it, the cost is so low. If you're not able to afford for this, then you know you're just broke as just as I am because I'm trying to get affiliates ads going on. Yeah, this is a sponsored video, by the way. Um, VPN features and look at all these great features: uh, secured VPN account, encrypted Wi-Fi, peer-to-peer -peer support, and so on and so forth. And you can connect to 33 different countries, and there's a lot of servers to go around. Plus, there's a fast download. I use this for myself as well when I try to get to those no-no sites. Yeah, okay, let's go back to the continued content and thank you for the support. Links in the description.
Thank you for sticking around. Please feel free to watch my other videos. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, follow my social media. If you're feeling generous, check out my Patreon or send in a donation of any amount with PayPal. It really helps out with post-production, equipment, food in my belly, and also continue making free content for you guys. Links in the description. Y'all take care, and thank you once again.